This video demonstrates how to use Visicon to run detailed quantity takeoffs from any ETABS model. Visicon's inventory reports generate takeoffs grouped by any model parameter, for example by member type, section type, material, level, any member dimension, or other parameter that is of relevance and found in the model. Let's assume we're asked to estimate the weight of this roof truss and we have the ETABS model. How would we quickly and easily get to the answer? Let's open a sample model. We've opened up our ETABS model in Visicon. We would have gotten here by just simply double clicking on the E2K file. We can navigate the model. Let's zoom out and take a look at the overall structure. So it's, a, it's an overall roof steel structure. And our objective, as I'd mentioned, is to do a takeoff and calculate total weight of this structure, particularly the weight at each of these column supports. So let's zoom in, look at one of the properties of the components. If I select this element, we can see that what Visicon has done is it, it has extracted and presents the member properties under two tabs that are the general properties. So here, if I scroll down, we can see we have things like the name, we have what story it's part of, we have the material assignment, and we have actual geometric properties. So length of the member, volume, surface area, section area, perimeter. So these are actual 3D geometric properties of that member. The next tab over presents us with some additional properties that include things like the section, which we're going to use to group our quantities, as well as other properties that we may be interested in. So let's go take a top view and we're going to go to a orthographic view. So what we want to do is we want to do our quantity takeoff based on different tributary regions. So here we have a central column. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to select our tributary components. So here you see if I go and select to the left, it includes all those components. So I'm now selecting all of those members that would be in that tributary, you see they're selected in red. While they're selected, I go right click, filter, I'm going to create my first filter. So we're going to call this central columns, we're going to go back to the top. And we're going to do something similar for an end column tributary condition. So I'm going to again, select these components, and those that I've selected, right click, filter, create new, these are going to be now my end columns. So I have two groups of tabs. How do we actually do the quantity report? We go to reports that is under the inventory report. First, we're going to run the inventory report for complete roof for each report. You can configure it by saying what's the source, we're going to do the whole roof. So entire model, how do we want to group the components, we don't really care about level, and we wanted to group them by member or section type. So I select one of these, I go to the parameters, and you see here where it says section. So I right click this variable, copy the variable, I'm going to replace level grouping by the section type. And that's really all we want. So we can delete the other category. So we're just doing running a quantity of the entire roof, we want to group it by section. And for each member, it's going to display the name. So if I select here, the name is right here. So it'll say it's D5111. And we could display other variables. In this case, every member has the same material. But let's also say that we wanted to see material. So I could right click, copy variable, the name of the material. So this way we have core material name. So for each member, we're going to group it by section type, the geometry is automatically going to be included in the quantity report. And we're going to display name and material, we can run this report. This is now our quantity report for the entire structure. And if we open up one of these categories, we can now see that we have for this section type. Remember, we had the material. So we we verify that each of these has the s 355 material assigned, we had 6400 and 76 members that are of this category. If I scroll to the right, we can see the complete member length. So what I would do here is I would take the 30,889 meters times the nominal section weight that I get from a catalog for that section property and calculate my weight. Alternatively, if I want to use the volumetric weight of the Visicon model, 
I can just come in here and I can see that this is 6,401 tons. Now we want to go and just do the quantities for the central column. We'll clone this report. This will be our central column load. Instead of having the source be the entire model, what we will do is just a filter and we will select the filter that we created for the central columns. The grouping will be identical and we run our report. So that same exact member, now we have 144 and this summarizes everything for you. So in summary, you can use Visicon's inventory report to very flexibly generate any type of quantity report, group the information based on any of the parameters that you find in an ETABS model. Download your copy of Visicon's free eTabs viewer at visicon.com. You require a professional license for the report features that we use to do the quantity takeoffs that were shown in this tutorial. Keep in mind that Visicon opens any Revit, IFC, eTabs, Adapt, OBJ, and Point Cloud model. Contact sales at visicon.com for any product or pricing inquiries.